As sabers rattle on the Korean peninsula, one woman has a sense of foreboding from half a world away. But Ma Young A has a perspective that few in the West can even comprehend. She's not only a North Korean defector, she once worked in the country's feared intelligence service, a spy whose mission was to catch drug dealers. She knows what this regime is capable of and says this about the current crisis. I believe that the, the war uh, will break, uh, and I uh, believe that uh, by 99 percent. Uh, because when, when you think about this, the psychology of these people, um, they're not thinking that, oh, um, I need to survive, you all die. It's not that. You're going to die, and I'm going to die as well. That's what they're thinking. Another former North Korean agent says she thinks Kim Jong-un is using provocations to compensate for his youth and inexperience. He's struggling to gain complete control over the military and to win their loyalty. Kim hyun hee was convicted of blowing up a South Korean airliner in 1987. She was captured alive when she didn't bite her cyanide pill in time. She was sentenced to death in South Korea, but then pardoned. North Korea is using its nuclear program to keep its people in line and to push South Korea and the United States for concessions. Speaking to former North Korean spies who've defected is almost surreal. Ma Young A, who defected in 2000, <music> occupies her days in ways you wouldn't expect. These days, Ma Young A makes her living this way, playing concerts on the Yangum, a string instrument played with bamboo sticks. She is politically active, though, and she says that comes with a price. Residing in northern Virginia, she's engaged in protest in the U.S. against the North Korean regime. In New York in 2010, while she was protesting the sinking of a South Korean warship, she says two North Korean agents threatened to kill her. When I asked if she fears for her life... I do feel it's unsafe. I feel it's not safe. Uh, however, um, actually, I don't uh, regret um, as to what I do uh, because I feel that uh, that's what I have to do uh, because what they're doing is uh, definitely wrong. And uh, although I have to look around uh, and uh, fear for my life, uh, everybody has to die. Despite the intimidation, Ma Young A vows to continue protesting, but always with a keen sense of what has happened before. Her first husband, who was also a North Korean officer, was executed, she says, after her defection.